Hi, uh, hello everyone. I'm, I'm Ricardo Alta from CPC. Uh, today I'm here to talk about uh, the, the new OSCE group, working group that we have at, uh, at uh, we are trying to start at EPSI, uh, which is called Teraflow SDN. I'm the convenor of that group and we are kicking it off uh, next week so that I'm here to present you what uh, Teraflow SDN is about and, and, and to, to, to explain the benefits of uh, having uh, Teraflow SDN in the EPSI ecosystem and also how we have started uh, the collaboration with OSM and well, how we see that it can it can be more fructifer uh, during the next years. So first of all, a little bit of the agenda of the talk. You can see here at first, I, I will introduce you a little bit of, on the story and the history of uh, Teraflow. We are uh, is to 20 project uh, European uh, financed by European community and we are now kicking off the net COSC and just next week so I will talk to you how has this process uh, been what do we have seen and also then I will introduce you a little bit of what uh, we expect inside the COSC group uh, for Teraflow at the end and finally, I will uh, discuss a little bit the relationship between OSM and Teraflow SDN. So that's the that's, uh, agenda for my presentation today. So let's start with a bit of history. So we are uh, an European funded research project with uh, multiple partners. And, uh, I am the project coordinator and Telefonica is leading the technical management of the project. Uh, the, the, the project focuses on SDN, SDN for um, the network uh, operators, and it tries to do one thing right. So we, we are not focusing on too many things. We are only focusing on the SDN and being able to apply SDN to a network operator. So that means that we are uh, focusing in, in, the, in the transport network uh, that, that we are uh, focusing from the cell side gateway up to the uh, core routers, thinking into consideration also the optical and millimeter wave uh, links. That's our uh, network domain that we are applying our uh, SDN control. And there are some topics like uh, 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 interacting with computer, computer services introducing AI-based cybersecurity or even some trust and multi-tenancy issues on top of the transport uh, network. That's uh, what we are trying to do. So this is uh, a few research and innovation action which uh, resulted into a source code uh, that was very um, interesting. Why that? because we had uh, started a new completely from scratch, a new SDN controller with the cloud native principles that, uh, that you were, for example, describing before. Uh, so we are uh, having a multiple uh, containers, we are having, which can be replicated, which can, we can apply the, the, the Kubernetes clusters and this high availability stuff to, to, to have more robustness on our network. We can also include the, the, the some scalability for uh, doing uh, complex uh, stuff like uh, path computation, for example. So all this is, is uh, this, this leads us to a new breed of uh, SDN controllers, which we think that, that might be of interest for the community. So we had the first colonies uh, this year in the GitLab repository, and then we, we discovered that there were uh, many companies that wanted to contribute to, the, to this open source, and we thought that it was important that not only the people doing this research and innovation action financed by the European community was uh, able to, to contribute as a community. And that's why we, when we started to, to, to find a place for hosting us, and uh, for, for good luck, we, we started discussing with DPSI as a hosting, a hosting institution for the project. We think that it uh, provides a lot of value uh, to us and also we can provide a lot of value to the ETSI. And as uh, the experience has showed with uh, OSM, there is a strong community that, uh, that uh, wants to support the project 
that also this, the, the project typically, as we can see in the ecosystem, they, in a, it, it can be used also not only for the, the operator driven approach, but also that there, there can be some innovation and research performed around them. We thought that this was a good framework where we could have uh, other companies and other research institutions and other research collaborative actions that would uh, contribute to the project. And that's why we have uh, moved and we are planning to move the code base from our uh, simple villa to the, to, to, to the EPSI as a hosting institution. So, uh, and that's uh, how we reach the other point where we have this uh, HTTP flow in the end, or she, as a, as a reality. So we can, what can we, uh, you can see here, the, 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 the nice um, logo and, and, and the different topics that we will address. Uh, we have the code base as uh, we had, I have showed you that we had previously that uh, we have been doing during the last uh, year and a half. Uh, we are open source, we are using Apache to license. We are cloud native, so we are uh, we are taking the, the rest of it of uh, current software development techniques. So if you see competitors uh, from uh, Teraflow, uh, we, we can see that, that, that it's the first trial, uh, the complete uh, trial of uh, bringing uh, cloud native uh, software development into SDN world. We think that uh, that uh, we are doing it right. Uh, we are focusing on operators' use cases, so we are not focusing on data center. We are not talking about and not discussing about open flow any longer. We are uh, focusing on standards that are being developed somewhere else. So, for example, for controlling routers, we are using the standard interfaces like Open Config. For controlling the transport network, we're using the ONF Transport API. We uh, are uh, not re trying to reinvent the wheel, but we are trying to foster innovation in the transport network. And that's how we plan. So we are contributing with source code that can be used uh, quite uh, easily for, for the operators to, to stress some specific uh, proof of concepts and to um, address some specific issues. So uh, it's a community-driven software. So we are trying to build this global community uh, within uh, ETSI. We think that the requirements are, are not so stringent. So everyone will be uh, um, will have keys to join. And we also, uh, as, a, as a last point, I would like to remark is that, that, that we intend to, to, to be compliant with uh, the European cybersecurity requirements. So this, this is uh, software that's been developed in open source, which is, uh, can be completely peer reviewed, and uh, we can uh, adopt the, 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 the stringent requirements that, that the European Security Act is uh, requesting. So this is uh, the, the overview of what uh, we are intending. As I said, we have a first release that's available on Ovilla, and we will be soon bringing everything to, to EPSI. So our intention is to provide toolbox for rapid prototyping and experiment with innovative uh, network technologies and use cases. So this is very, very important that we have, uh, at ETSI has many different industry standards groups that are preparing new, uh, novel innovations. They want to be able to do quick uh, prototypes and proof of concepts. Uh, we have uh, in discussing with some of these ISGs uh, to contribute with, but we would like, for example, ZSM or PDL. We think that they are uh, very suitable for our uh, with our architecture. That, that's uh, this um, a microservice based architecture. So um, and this this allows this this prototyping. Then uh, we also aim to use the adoption of SDM by hotel operators. So uh, one of our measures of success will be the number of POCs that we see inside an operator network. We also want to bring innovation to the ecosystem and contribute to network programmability for current 5G and beyond deployments. We are not taking care of 5G, but we are uh, up to the cell side. So that this means that uh, we are introducing programmability in your networks 
which can be very beneficial uh, for the different uh, cell sites that deploy 5G networks. So typically you have the, your router and layer 3 VPNs uh, set up by hand and uh, then but this means that, that you will not be able to address uh, dynamic traffic changes and necessities in your cell site. Uh, this uh, combination of having the Teraflow SVN as your transport SVN controller and to be able to modify dynam dynamically the, 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 the located bandwidth to the cell sites that can be very interesting for, for the future networks. We had a, I think that I have already talked and discussed about this ESG uh, demonstration of proof of concepts. Uh, just a list of the important founding members of the group. We have a um, um, CTC as a, I'm, I'm, I'm acting as a homenor. Uh, we have uh, also NC, Telefonica, Telenor, and CI uh, showing. So we and also with many other institutions. Uh, SMEs and, uh, and, and universities are free of charge to join the group. There is a small uh, charge for a uh, large industry, but that's also feasible. I mean, the, the, the benefit is, is very high to be part of the community. So I'm, I, I think that, that there will be no, no uh, one who is not, who's interested that, that, that cannot join. So let's um, try to uh, forward a little bit more with uh, how we see the relationship between OSM and Teraflow SDN. We are, uh, OSM is an NFPO, we are deploying an SDN controller. So, and our intention is to create uh, a bigger uh, contribution so, so that we, that the sum up of uh, these two uh, software products is able to uh, be, be larger than, than, than the, 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 the are on their own. So that's our intention. We want to be able to integrate, to be able to be part of the, the to, to interplay between OSM and, and, and Teraflow. And I think that this, this can provide the benefits. We have a community of contributors. Uh, OSM has its own community of contributors, but together when we have the, two, the, the sum of the two products all working all together, I think that the, the benefits are more and more significant. So that's, that's one way to go. Uh, we have already proven that, that this is possible. So for the first release, even, we have contributed to, to OSM in order to be able to interplay with uh, Teraflow. So this is one demo of the Teraflow uh, OSM integration. You can, there is a, I think that, that uh, you have seen this demo and it has been detailed in some tech talks uh, for OSM, but uh, if not, you have the, the YouTube thing when, when, and you can uh, take a look at it. I mean, that, that's nothing that I, I want to go into details, but just to let you know that this is already uh, taking place. So some of the things that uh, we are um, working together is this uh, extension of OSM uh, with interface. So we are proposing some of the different uh, stuff that uh, to extend uh, the web interface for OSM towards several different APIs, to extend the APIs so that we can handle more um, granularity in the different point of presence in the connection using the WIM. And, and also we are um, analyzing how to interact with the PLA component and to, to make some showing compute network resource allocation uh, from OSM uh, even down to uh, Teraflow SDN. So these are the two, two points where we see synergies right now and we will be working with to, in the first uh, steps. So, uh, of the next event, so uh, next next week, we are having our virtual kickoff meeting. Uh, we will have also in October the, the first Teraflow uh, SDN Hackfest at Nervos X uh, Amsterdam. It will be co located with OSM Hackfest, but it will be a complete dedicated day to, to Teraflow. So, if you are attending the Hackfest of OSM, the, the next day you will be able to to, to, to learn about uh, Teraflow SDN, to see 
uh, some tutorial style and uh, uh, so that, uh, that you are able to uh, replicate what we are able to do with uh, Teraflow to control emulated uh, layer 3 routers to control emulated um, transport uh, network and, and uh, we will have some examples there ready for you. So how to join? Uh, that's, uh, we are looking for participation to ESI members, non-members and individuals. So there are many, many plenty of of uh, ways of collaborating, uh, just contact EFS support at Etsy in, in case you're interested in the joining and for sure they, they will find uh, the best way to, to collaborate. So uh, in case you are more interested in to learning more, you can consult our uh, website, you can send us a, a mail. We also have a Slack channel for Teraflow SDN. We have a EFS info mailing list. You can follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn. So you will see that we will be making lots of noise uh, during these next times, these next weeks. Uh, we have also had our first press release announcing the launch of this open source group. And that was all from my side. Uh, thank you very much. I prefer to take questions and just speed up a little bit. So now I think it's a, it's a time that uh, I can answer some of your questions, worries, interest, so on. I was too fast, I was not too clear. No, thank you again, it was clear. Uh, do we have any questions? Well, more than one question, uh, yes, uh, congratulate Ricard for, for the initiative. Uh, hopefully, we can find uh, opportunities for, for collaboration in the lines that uh, uh, he has described and, and, and probably uh, and probably new ones as, as they come. So, I mean, I think it's, an, it's, excellent, it's excellent news. Thank you for the welcome. That is cool.